I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Temperance and it's paired with the King of Swords. Now, temperance, it's about your relationships that are likely to be going quite well. You may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to integrate them. Or if they're standing in your way, yeah, how to work through them. Because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you have. Now, to the King of Swords. King of Swords often stands for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful individual in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way, actually. If this is not someone in your life, you may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. Like I said, especially when this card does not represent an actual person in your life. So you might need to Consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords, like I said, is a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this person or man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. So Pisces, what I'm, what I'm getting here for the recent past energy between you and your person, Temperance clarified with the King of Swords. Well, this is telling me that you you were, or maybe you're still dealing with this person. You're dealing with someone who is could be probably really controlling. Um, like I said, the King of Swords is forceful. They kind of only use their head and not really their heart. This person probably mistreated you. The King of Swords will overstep their bounds. Very forceful, opinionated, um, probably aggressive, arrogant. You were dealing with someone like this, a lot of you, Pisces. And you, you were trying to figure out how to bring balance back into your life because the connection or dealing with someone like this, it really threw you off balance. Yeah, you probably had a hard time focusing on work. And you probably had a hard time pulling yourself together. Very controlling type of energy. The King of Swords can be, actually it's known as the narcissist in the tarot. So, you probably realize you were dealing with a narcissist. And it things just got out of hand. Yeah, so you realize you needed to bring balance back into your life. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for you and your person. We got this Four of Cups and it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Four of Cups is actually about having regrets and um, Wishing your life away, not counting your blessings. Because if you take a look at the Four of Cups, it's the card that's above the word present. Yeah, you see how this man, he's sitting, looks like he's sitting in a park. And he's got his head down. There's people probably walking past him. And he can't even look up to see who's coming toward them. He's so stuck in regret and wishing his life away. 
wishing things were different. Yeah. If you put your screen on full, you can see that there's a lot of blood on his hand. So like I said, he's so stuck in just wishing and and being regretful that he can't even get up to take care of himself. There's a lot of blood on his hand. Yeah. So that's a little bit about the Four of Cups. Not counting your blessings. Just maybe stuck in um, a pity party. That could be what it is also. Having your own pity party. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation. That you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But now is actually the time to feel the fear. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it actually points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So, what's coming up between you and your person? Yeah, like I said, you're trying to bring balance back to yourself. That's what I'm getting. More, more towards yourself than the connection. I think by now you realize this person is just who they are. And it, it's not, it's really not easy to change people, especially the King of Swords. So you're trying to bring balance back into yourself. It looks like coming up, you could have some feelings of regret, wishing things were different, wishing you knew, wishing you knew then what you knew now, or bef wishing you knew what you know now before you got into the connection with this person. Just kind of wishing and having a lot of regret. Yeah. You realize at one point you wanted to win this connection. You wanted to come out on top. You wanted to be like the seven, seven of wands. You were hoping that this was the one. You were hoping and you have regrets that it's not. Now you got to put yourself back on the market. So you're kind of stuck in regret coming up. Um, this four of cups can also be about feeling devalued devalued and unloved. So this could be how this King of Swords could be making you feel. Or just how the relationship is starting to make you feel. Yeah. So you realize you gotta get back out there. This person is not the one. It looks like all you've got um, to show for it. Well, I would say maybe emotionally is just a lot of regrets there. Just by looking at the Four of Cups. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Magician, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now the Magician, it's a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in so many other areas of the world, if we simply try. Just know you will not have it all in to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get now it's with this beautiful Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. Ten of Cups is another of the most uplifting cards you can receive in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a really, really good card. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. 
and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about your parents siblings children your pets and much more also you could be spiritually fulfilled at this time it's a part of the picture also really really good card to see regardless of any question so your challenge pisces magician clarified by this ten of cups yeah, so you realize, you're realizing coming up that it's time to go for a new beginning. Maybe in life or maybe with someone else. Maybe you know someone. Or maybe you're manifesting an, a new beginning. Yeah, maybe, like I said, maybe in life or with life or with someone else. Um, you, you realize that your Ten of Cups is out there. Yeah, you realize that you can actually have it all. Because a lot of you Pisces actually have it going on. You got it going on for yourself. So you realize that you don't have to put up with a lot of crap. So there you are. You got your wand in your hand. And you're off. To, you're manifesting wonderful things for yourself. And you're not just putting up with someone who's not treating you the the way that you think they should yeah so you were stuck in regret and disappointment for a little while but there you are manifesting wonderful new beginnings and like I said you know that your ten of cups is out there you know that you can actually have it all you know that you got it going on Pisces so let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got this Ace of Wands, and it's with the Six of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands can also indicate new beginnings. Yeah, the new beginnings are very positive new beginnings. They could be in the area of work or personally. Just know with the Ace of Wands, if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon and I say very soon because if you take a look at the ace of wands it's the card above the word outcome it, it looks like this card is sitting above the clouds but no it's actually burst above the clouds really fast and powerful so this card it depicts it depicts being upbeat optimistic hopeful about the future with a really good cause, you're likely to be feeling really energetic and positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. The Ace, it also tells you that now is a good time to start something new. Yeah, so, it's with the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of, six of Swords can be about some type of movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. It's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful and just know that this does not have to cost money so your outcome Pisces ace of wands clarified by the six of swords so yeah for some of you Pisces you're going towards someone that you already know or there's someone new coming in and it's showing that it's positive this could be your Ten of Cups. Yeah, this new person that's coming in, or maybe, like I said, maybe it's someone that you already know. This could be your Ten of Cups. Yeah, and the outcome is showing that it's going to feel like a powerful new beginning. Powerful, really powerful with this Ace of Wands here. It's going to feel like a fresh new start. And as far as this King of Swords goes, like I said, I'm, I'm picking up that a lot of you are are moving on from this person. 
I'm getting that I don't see any endings here in this reading. Nothing came up that was saying an ending. The two of you might just move into calmer waters with each other. Uh, some of you are going to put this person in the friend zone. You'll friend zone this person. Because the Six of Cups, it's about resolution, recovery, uh, moving into calmer waters. So, yeah, if you look at the Six of Swords, it's a card below the word outcome. These two people in a boat, they just got out of raging waters. Now the waters are still, and they're just sailing along smoothly. So there's someone that you're going to be at, that maybe you've made peace with. You realize that you can't change this person. They are who they are. You, you're who you are. And you know that it's time to manifest some wonderful new beginnings in your life. So yes, this is good. You got some great new beginnings coming in. Could be your Ten of Cups. So Pisces, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you. In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And keep in mind, when you get my readings, the roles can be switched. You could be your person, or your person could be you. So please take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I'm wishing you guys happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day, and take care.